Alright guys, back with another video for you. Um, just trying to give you as many tips about these BMWs as I can. Um, everything that I learn uh, whenever I buy a new car, I read all the technical manuals and everything trying to learn as much as I can about the car. Um, I think that's important if you're spending the kind of money that these cars cost um, to know everything you can about it, you know, so that if something does happen, uh, not only can you fix it, but you can take advantage of all the features and get the most enjoyment out of your car. So I've had a lot of people, I've seen a lot of questions, you know, people wondering how does the car charge the battery? Uh, there's, there's some confusing information in the owner's manual regarding uh, the way the alternator functions in the car and uh, it refers to uh, a feature called overrun. So the way the car charges the vehicle is the alternator has a clutch on it and it will engage and disengage and the alternator in the vehicle will only charge the car to right around 75%. So it'll only charge the battery to 75%. It relies, it, it relies on a feature called overrun which what that does is relies on regenerative braking to charge the battery the rest of the way to, in an effort to be as efficient as possible with the car to meet EPA standards. Um, so the way this functions is, as you can see right now, next to the little battery symbol in the bottom left here, or the bot center bottom of the gauge cluster, you see the blue battery symbol. Well, right now it's blue and the gauge is all the way to the left. So what was happening right there is with my foot all the way off the accelerator, see now it stopped because the wheel stopped moving so it's not charging. But if you lift off the gas, the car is charging the battery while you're coasting. So it always leaves a little bit of chargeability. Uh, it won't, the alternator won't fully charge the car because it wants to be able to, to take the energy from your braking and your decelerating. It wants to be able to have uh, capacity to store that energy. It doesn't want that energy to go to waste. So. That's, that's why you're, if you've ever had your battery tested on your BMW and the battery's not fully charged, that's, you probably don't have a bad battery. It probably it just, you didn't allow the car to coast enough during your trip. Uh, you made either a short trip or you did just flat highway driving and never let off the accelerator. Um, so it's always good to coast to a stop. You don't want to have your foot on the gas until it's time to brake. You want to allow the car to coast for a little while. See right now, I let my foot off the gas and now it's charging put my foot on the gas, not charging. So in order to keep your battery fully charged, just try and coast as much as you can when you're coming to a stop. Um, and that'll allow the battery to stay fully charged and that'll take advantage of the regenerative braking function in the car. So I hope that helps some of you guys.